Father, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord, we are so thankful this morning for this opportunity. Lord, this God-given opportunity, Lord, that you are allowing us, Lord, to open the pages of the Bible. Here ons wil for ochend vir u baie, baie, baie dankie sê jyne, vir hierdie goddelike, goddelike voorig. Ons vra u sening, ons vra u teenwoordigheid. Lord, we ask you that you come down, Lord, in that special, special presence. Lord, as we are about to, to turn the pages or to read your word. Bless us this morning. Lord, is our prayer, and all those young people out there, we pray, O oh God, that you tremendously bless them, and may you touch them accordingly, Father. My prayer is there, Lord, even if there's only one young person out there, one young person that can be changed, that can be saved, Jere, al is het net een jong meisje of een jong man. Jere, wat u kan red daar beter. Mag u een perfecte werk doen. May you do a perfect, a perfect work. Even if it's just one. Out there, Father. To God be the glory. Because great things he has done. Bless us now. It's our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters, young people. I hope that you are enjoying it out there, that you are enjoying the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your week. This is your week. God has given us uh, an opportunity this week to speak to you and pull a few examples out of the word where God tremendously used young people in the Bible. Remember that you are very, very, very important. Remember that our Creator, Amen, also re recognized the value of the young people in His divine, in His divine, divine, Amen channel. There is a place, there is a position in the divine plan of God for our young people. Don't feel out, outcast, young people. Don't feel that there is nothing out there in the divine plan of God for you to do. Don't listen to anyone that tells you that you does not have an important place in this divine plan of God's, God's salvation. You have an important role to play. As a young boy, as a young girl, you have an important place to play in, this, in the divine plan of the Almighty God. Indeed, you, you can be a most valuable uh, component your part very important sometimes we focus on somebody else part we focus a lot on what other young people are doing but very important your part that is what we want to address this morning die gedeelte wat jy moet speel you remember that in a drama, you find different characters playing their own part in a little drama. Everybody cannot be Moses. Every, everybody cannot be Joseph. Everybody cannot be Daniel. Everybody cannot be Mary or Magdalene. You find different people, different characters. Each, each one plays a different part. For instance, if you had one or two children in one home, two girls, two boys, one boy, three girls, or just three girls, or just two boys, 
Remember, don't try to be like your brother. Don't try to be like your sister. Remember that you have an important role. That is important. Just we underline that straightforwardly. We underline that part because that is where the conflict comes. There is where the trouble comes. Is when we want with when we want to try to be the same. No, my precious sister, young girl, young boy. You have an important part to play in the kingdom of God. And I want to underline it again. Don't let nobody tell you out there that you doesn't have an important role to play. You have a very important, very important part. Remember your part you play, no matter how small it is, is a very important part. Oh, I feel so excited. I feel like jumping. I feel like shouting because I am glad that God has called me also in this great economy of God, in this great divine plan of God. I am getting so much excited for you young people this morning. Even myself, I am rejoicing. I am glad. I am thankful that God has also called me in his divine plan. Remember, it is a privilege. It is a privilege. It's not something that any man can just give to you, amen, or that you can buy from a uh, shop and take from the shelf. No, it is a privilege, amen, hallelujah, to be a part of this great economy or this great divine plan of the Almighty God. So what is our call this morning? What is our prayer this morning, my precious young brother, my precious young sister, amen, hallelujah, is to find our position again and whatever plan God has for us in store or whatever position or whatever part we have to play as a young boy, as a young girl, let us make sure that we are very much instrumental. Oh God, help us this morning. Make sure that whatever you do for God, amen, hallelujah, do it your 120%. Don't do less than that, amen, hallelujah. Try to reach the limits in your position, in your capability, hallelujah, amen, because, amen, it is a privilege to be called a son and a daughter of the Almighty God. Let us read a few verses in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Amen. Let us read one or two verses and also 1 Timothy 4, verse 12. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 1. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Let's read from verse 1. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure, pleasure in it. Amen. First Timothy, Amen. Chapter four. First Timothy, chapter four, verse twelve. Amen. Listen what the words of Paul is to uh, brother Timothy. Timothy, a young man. One scripture we just read now. Remember your God during your youth. Hallelujah. It is important. It is important. Brother Nicky is not an educated man. I haven't had much of school. And as a young boy, I was very one-sided because I was very, I had like a complex because most young people, they studied they went to university, they went to college, amen, hallelujah. You know how young people is sometimes, they get into groups, they're talking about this is my first year, this is my second year. And because of that, you know, I created, there was some complex that was formed, amen, in my mind and I just pulled away and I just thought, okay, okay, what can I say? 
And also I was afraid that probably maybe somebody will also ask me, Brother Nikki, uh, in what year are you, <laughs> you know, and uh, what are you studying for? So, so that is the kind of things, amen, that pulls one another aside. But uh, thank the grace of God, but even through that, amen, hallelujah, without education, that is not, amen, what makes you a youth because of your degree, because of your, your diplomas, that are all very fine. It's important for you to take your books and to study. But having one or two degrees or having a diploma and two, three diplomas or being educated doesn't make you the perfect young person. No, what makes you perfect is when you as a young boy, as a young girl can, def can find your position in the divine plan of God because you can be educated and you can still be a blessing you can be uneducated and you can still be a, you can still be a blessing remember there are educated young people they want to do nothing with the Lord Jesus Christ they want to hear nothing about amen repentance or or serving the Lord Jesus Christ remember they are even poor there are also uneducated young people out there they don't want to they don't want to do anything they don't want to hear anything about eternal life hallelujah amen remember it is a privilege and remember the Lord amen remember your creator in these days you are young 12 9 8, 12 years 13 14 15 you are between those ages between 10 and 17 years old remember to remember thy youth your creator in these days it is very important and these are the days, these are the days, these youth days, this is the day of the defiant your life will, ver, will, will, will vernietig, where is in these years where the defiant your character will upmors young mensie. These are the years, in these years between 10 and 17 and 18, these are the years that Satan wants to destroy your character. Oh my, he wants to destroy your character. Amen, hallelujah. He wants, to, he wants to rip you apart. And that's why he throws everything to you. Whatever he can, he just dump it to you. Don't become a dumping place of Satan's, hallelujah, uh, Satan's, uh, the stuff that Satan is dumping upon our young people. Don't become a dumping spot. Amen. Remember and allow your creator in these days of being a youth. Amen. Remember your creator in these days and allow your creator. Mag die Heere volle beheer het oor jou leven. Amen. Hallelujah. Allow the creator. Amen. Let no man despise your youth. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. And this is what Paul told young Timothy. These things command you, teach, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example. Wherever you go today, young sister, young boy, in the name of Jesus Christ, as a servant of the Almighty God, I want to ask you, hallelujah, amen, be thou an example. Yes, a forebuild by your school, by the university, at your school, at the university, in your community, in your area, whatever job you are doing, hallelujah, no matter how poor you are or how rich you are this morning, the Bible says, amen, hallelujah, let no man despise your youth, amen, but be thou an example, very clear, we underline it, two lines, this is important, Listen to this this morning. Hallelujah. Let never, let anybody underestimate, hallelujah, your position as a young boy or a young girl. Hallelujah. And what is important this morning, no matter how young you are, lead by example. No matter how young you are, lead by example. And that is what the Bible says. Amen. Be thou an example of the believers. In word, in word, in conversation, in, uh, in charity, 
in spirit, in faith, in purity. Young girls, does that sound familiar to you this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Be thou an example, young girl. Oh my, in purity. Protect the virtue as much as you can. Hallelujah. Don't let any young boy tries to, to, to turn you around and tries, amen, with all these ungodly relationships and all these ungodly, amen, friends and uh, influences. But be thou an example. We're going to pray. The time has already got us, amen. But I'm getting so excited, amen, about Paul bringing this to Timothy and by the grace of God this morning your brother, brother Nikki is bringing it to you this morning young boy, young girl, let no man despise thy youth but be thou an example very important amen, of the believers in word this is in closing now be an example in word in conversation in charity in the spirit in faith in purity be an example lead young people lead by example gracious almighty god we are so thankful for your word we have so much to say oh god but this morning this little piece that we broke from the bread father this i think this is enough for our young people for this morning as they open up this little clip this little devotion we pray, O oh God, as they go out and lead by example, live a godly life. Fill them all this morning with your presence, with your love. May the Spirit of God, amen, overshadow and protect our young people today. In Jesus' name, amen.